Hi everyone, I'm in the competition I call Challenge Egypt Co-Space Rescue. My name is Bakr Ahmed al tabal and I'm 15 years old. I'm from Egypt and I live in Hurghada. I started programming since 2014. I participated in many competitions like WRO, SOMO and Line Follower in 2015 and I won the third place. FLL Animal Allies 2016-2017 and I won the second champions FLL Hydrodynamics 2017-2018 and I won the, the second in core values FLL Into Orbit 2018-2019 and I won the first in, the, in Robo Game as well as Scratch courses and UI courses The challenge task is to collect objects and deposit them to get a high score the category of co space challenge I participated in is co space rescue under 19. The problems I investigated was in going to the deposit area and in the swampland area. Because in the swampland area, the robot decreases its speed and wastes its time. The methods I used are RGB color sensors, position X and Y, compass, ultrasonic sensors, and LED. The result is that the robot will collect objects, avoid trap, avoid falling in their borders, and deposit objects efficiently. The conclusion is that the robot will gain points and gets high score. Analyze. The aim of the challenge is to achieve the highest possible score, and the person who achieves the highest score wins. Can the challenge task be broken down into many mini tasks? Yes, for example, when depositing the objects, I used mini tasks to create a variety of scenarios so that the robot could go to the deposit area and the deposit and, and deposit the objects more easily. Will the overall mission be solved if the above mini tasks completed? Yes, because with well organized statements and commands, the robot would be able to complete tasks more quickly and efficiently. AI algorithms and resources. Here are my AI algorithms. For example, number one, going to the deposit. When the robot has more than one, more than three loaded objects and approaches the deposit area, it turns around and proceeds to the deposit. Number two, position. When the robot gets closer to the borders, it turns away rather than falling. Deposit. When the deposit area is detected by the two sensors, it, the robot begins to deposit. When the robot detects the deposit area with either sensors, it rotates until it detects the deposit area with both sensors. Swampland. When the robot detects the swampland area, it turns, it turns away to avoid decreasing in speed. Trap. When the color sensor detects the trap, the robot turns to prevent the loaded objects from being lost. Find object. When the robot detects an object, it stops to collect it. Move. The robot moves while avoiding obstacles. The benefits of using aforementioned tools and resources, as well as the fact that the robot is given well-ordered statements and commands that allow him to move in an organized manner and positively influences my score by increasing it. And here's a video about how the robot goes to the deposit area. Now he's fully loaded. Of objects goes to deposit. Now he successfully deposited. And here is my flowchart. Is the robot performing as what have have you planned and coded? Well, I intended to go to the super object and collect it, but it didn't work. The issue was with saving the super object location, and I fixed and I fixed this, that issue by making two, uh, two variables called buckx and bucky to save the super object's location. My outcomes are neither too good nor too bad. If I were asked to solve the same challenge again, how would I improve my strategy? I would divide the map into two rectangles, each with a different strategy and order, resulting in more structured robot actions and a significant effect to my score. I learned how to program robots in C programming language, as well as how to solve problems and apply strategy and algorithms to achieve a particular goal. I've gained a lot of experience programming robots and designing techniques for making videos. 
I'd like to explain to other course space participants how to calculate a region using x and y coordinates as well as suggestions about how to get to the super object and collect it. Thank you.